hi welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here i'm rejoice if you are returning welcome to you as well um good having all of you here so don't mind my full armor it's cold it's cold it's cold it's cold i'm not going to freeze i refuse to feel cold hence the many layers that i'm wearing but anyway without wasting any time we can get straight into the video if you don't already know this this is the part where you pause and say a quick prayer asking the holy spirit to help you understand and give you a revelation on what we're going to be speaking about so you can just quickly pause just say a quick prayer inviting the holy spirit to be the one to teach you the word with that being said we're going to read from proverbs 4 verse 20 to 23 it says my son give attention to my words incline your ear to my sayings do not let them depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh verse 23 says keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues of life the first portion of scripture we're going to focus on is verse 23 that speaks about keeping your heart with all diligence i don't know about you but this is a um, scripture i'd say i'm familiar with but i don't know if i've always understood like the meaning of it and what that practically looks like to keep your heart with all diligence so that's what we're going to speak about um in the video today like the verse says everything comes from the heart so all the decisions that you make the type of person that you are everything 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 comes from the heart even idols that we may tend to have it all roots back from the heart so i just want to touch on idols um a bit right so i do not not south african idol they sing in one but the idols that you worship as a person right so usually when people talk about idols i don't know i used to think of like a like a object that people worship like maybe someone has a gold calf or a what like an object man that you bow down to and do all these weird things and what, 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 what in my head when people said idol those are the things i thought of and when the bible speaks about don't have any other god before me me i'm thinking of those gods man you, you, you know what i mean but i've come to learn that idols are basically anything that you put before god so idols could be even things that god has blessed you with but because you now prioritize that above god that thing becomes an idol now the danger with that is the fact that the thing is a good thing you idolizing it you may not even realize that you're idolizing it because the thing is a good thing right so for example let's say god blesses you with a family or god blesses you with an opportunity to pursue a degree or i'm trying to think of blessings that god could bless us with but anything man um i think you can think of this in your context whatever it is that god could bless you with god could bless you with something yes that is a blessing from god but that could become your idol when you put that above god so everything you do is now revolving around that and that thing basically has more of a priority than god does in your life also another thing about idols sometimes you can idolize something and you don't even know like you have you are clueless you are clueless 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 in your head you think you are you are you are so you are so good you are so holy meanwhile you have an idol in your heart and i think i've been there recently for that matter so i'll use myself and it as an example previously god um has highlighted to me uh, one of the areas of my life that i was idolizing and yeah with time i was like oh okay it's a matter of repenting rebuking and what what and i'll be fine for the rest of my life and whatnot but recently in that same area recently i mean recently like maybe like hey last week <laughs> just those recently i thought to myself if anyone were to ask me if i have an idol in my life i'll say never never i cannot have an idol i worship god i worship god and god alone until god just highlighted that there were certain things in my life that i was putting above him and generally it was more of a priority to me than he was and another thing we tend to think that uh, uh, um 
idols are demonic it doesn't have to be demonic like i said it can be such a beautiful thing a beautiful beautiful even in the will of god something that is in the will of god for your life or something that god wants to bless you with or whatever it can be such a good thing but like i said the problem comes when that thing sits on the altar of your heart as opposed to god so with that being said we're going to go back to the first scripture that we looked at which was keeping um your heart with all diligence so what we're gonna do is we're going to see how we do that by understanding how to control what stays in your heart as we look at entry points to your heart we'll also be looking at um in a way how to destroy idols that you may have created in your life right so yeah those entry points are basically the same entry points that probably built that idol in a way right we are going to go back to the verse that we read which is the beginning right proverbs 4 verse 20 it says my son give attention to my words incline your ear to my sayings do not let them depart from your eyes so from the piece of scripture that we've read we get two entry points to the heart right number one being the ear number two being your eyes so the scripture we read says incline your ear to my sayings do not let them depart from your eyes Keep them in the midst of your heart. The scripture is saying that the will of God is for us to have the word of God in our hearts. And it tells us how we can have the word of God in our hearts. Which is by inclining our ear. Inclining our ear to his saying. And having our eyes not depart from his word. The two entry points to your heart are your eyes and your ears. This thing this thing this thing this thing this thing this thing it's so important what you expose your eyes and your ears to like the bible is saying that is the entry point to your heart so something can't be in your heart if it didn't enter through here or through here i'll say that again something can't be in your heart if it didn't enter through here or through here and again that just speaks to the import the importance of guarding the things that you watch and guarding the things that you listen to like i mentioned what you expose yourself to is very important i mean there are like certain things that you cannot control per se like let's say um you are around a certain group of people that you kind of don't have a choice than to be around so so for example colleagues that just yapa weird stuff and stuff <laughs> so in that case um it's in a way not um in your control but i'll speak about ways to go about that so like i was saying exposure is important and i'll just highlight how we go from exposure to it being in your heart right number one you will be exposed to whatever you'll be exposed to your eyes will be exposed to whatever it is that they are being exposed to or your ears will be exposed to whatever you're being exposed to so that thing will then enter is now entering you right so once um that idea that desire whatever it is has entered and that goes it now goes to the brain with um being exposed to certain things that you don't have control over but they could affect you negatively here is where you can make the decision to not entertain that thought so let's say you were in an environment where your colleagues were speaking negative stuff or things that can impact you negatively or whatever you have a choice now to not meditate on that or to not entertain the thought so in general you are exposed to something it goes into your brain once it goes into your brain and you start meditating on it or thinking about it that thing becomes bigger and bigger and forms an imagination or a stronghold and in a sense like your thought pattern so from there obviously after thinking about whatever you are thinking about or once your thought patterns or your ideas have been formed that now informs the decisions that you make i don't think anyone wakes up and they like yeah today i'm going to do what 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 chances are you probably thought about whatever decision that you made before you made that decision yes so after the idea has entered your brain and you've entertained that idea and it's become you know 
part of your thought pattern or a stronghold or whatever then that affects the decisions that you make then the decisions that you make now forms the habits that you have so if you make that decision over and over then that is your habit and the habits that you have now informs what you have in your heart so that's just a general process of how we went from just watching or listening to something to something being formed in your heart it's important to have certain filters especially if you consider yourself a christian and someone who wants to live according to the will of god it's important to have certain filters to your eye gates and your ear gates because that's the entry point of something entering your heart if you already have a filter um, on the things that you listen to and the things that you watch then you prevent things from entering your heart by preventing it from even getting to the entry point so if it didn't enter there's no way it's going to get into your heart you understand have a filter have a filter filter the things that you watch filter the things that you listen to it's not everything it's not everything that you watch it's not everything that you listen to the music that you listen to you can't be listening to everything and everything yes the beat is nice but what are the words saying what are you declaring over your life you know use wisdom and check that with the word of god also the things that you watch your your for you page on your social media um, platforms the shows that you watch just because something is trending doesn't mean that you must watch it that could open a door for you to forming weird things in your heart i don't even know but that could be a door for something you don't want so have a filter for the sake of hosting the presence of God in you. There are certain things that you shouldn't be watching, you know. Back to the idols chat, right? So when I had my little situation with God where he um, highlighted that there is a certain area of my life that I was idolizing, when I came across this verse, he basically gave me a key to destroying that idol, right, that I've created in my heart. The key is to guard my heart by guarding my eye gates and ear gates. One of the things that, that built that built that idol to be, to, to be strong in my heart is this thing. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Everywhere I look is there. Everywhere I hear is there. It's just everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So if you sit down and think that, oh, okay, I'm actually idolizing this um, area of my life or I'm idolizing this certain thing that God has blessed me with or whatever. Basically, if you realize that you have an idol, or maybe God reveals that to you, one of the things that you can do is to monitor or rather put a filter on your eye gates and ear gates. If, for example, the idol is money, you love money too much, you love it more than God, you will do anything for money and what, what, what. This is just an example. But if that is the case, um, then a way in which you would destroy that idol is by starving it, by reducing the amount of things that you watch that have to do with money and the things that you listen to that have to do with money. So, for example, like I said, you have an idol of money in your heart, but as soon as you wake up, you say podcast on money, you say YouTube on money. When we open your, 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 your Instagram account, when we scroll, it's money, money, money. How to get rich, how to multiply your money, how to money, 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 money. And then on top of that, we go to your, 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 your music. It's music about money, 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 hey, money, money. You tell me, you tell me, do you think, do you think, do you think, do you think that idol will be destroyed or it will be made even stronger in your heart if you don't cut down on those things, you know? So, yes, so that being said, um, the Bible speaks about how the only person that we're supposed to have as God in our lives is God, is Jesus, you know, and not anything else, not um, the blessings he has blessed you with or any desire that you have or whatever. The only thing that your heart should truly be after is God and just having a relationship with him. So yes, with that being said, after this, you can just take some time to reflect, to see what's going on in here, to see what you really prioritize in your heart. Is it God? Is it um, certain materialistic things is it a uh, power is it i don't know there's so the, the list is very long but just to reflect and even ask god to show you what's happening in you sometimes you think you are fine meanwhile oh, meanwhile 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 but yeah god is good and i'm believing he will help us god will help us um 
put our focus back on him if we have happened to remove our focus on him and put on other things so yes with that being said that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope god spoke to you um i hope you learned something um uh, if you did if this video was helpful if you learned something do give it a what do you call a like button what? hit the play whatever whatever <laughs> but yeah please do hit the like button and um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if there's i don't know any questions you have or anything you'd like to share with everyone um yeah and maybe if you think this would be helpful for a friend or whatever feel free to share it um and yeah that's the end for Yo, the English is like, uh, is running away now. But anyways, that's the end of today's video. Um, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>